The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyonga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this learning session. I am Lum Fonchingo, your mathematics teacher. We had this assignment during the last lesson. This is the assignment. Express 2 divided by x minus 1 times x plus 2 all that raised to the power 3 into partial fractions. This assignment we had. I hope that you have solved this assignment. This is the correction. 2 divided by x minus 1 times x plus 2 all this raised to the power 3. From our knowledge of partial fractions, this will be equal to a over x minus 1 plus b divided by x plus 2, plus c divided by x plus 2, all that square, plus d over x plus 2, all that cube. So, this is because this term, this factor, x plus 2 is raised to the power 3. So that is how we put it. Uh, x plus 2 is raised to the power 3, so that we have x plus 2 here, x plus 2 squared, x plus 2 cube. So, at this stage now, what the next thing we do is, we eliminate the fractions. So, how do we do that? By multiplying all through all these terms. We multiply all through by the denominator, by the common, the LCM. So, it means that if we multiply all this part by the LCM, which is x minus 1, times x plus 2, all that raised to the part 3, we'll be left with 2 here. We multiply this other term by the LCM, we'll be left with a times x plus 2, plus we multiply this term by the LCM we we'll left with b times x minus 1 times x plus 2 squared plus we multiply this term by the LCM we we'll left with c times x minus 1 times x plus 2 plus we multiply this last term now by the LCM we we'll left with d times x minus 1 so Next thing now is to obtain the value of the constants A, B, C, and D, which we'll substitute in here to have. When we do that, it means that we have decomposed into those small partial fractions. So how do we do that? We start when x is equal to 1. When we substitute x is equal to 1 inside this equation here, what happens? We notice that this term in B Round up to come down to zero. This other one also come down to zero, and this other one too. How we find that two is equal to twenty seven a. This implies that a is two over twenty seven. The next one when x is equal to negative two, we find that two is equal to negative three d. This implies that d is equal to negative two over three. So we continue the process, the relation process. When x now is equal to zero, what happens? We find that. 2 is equal to 8a minus 4b minus 2c minus d. This implies that negative 54b minus 27c is equal to 10. We call this equation 1. We term that equation 1. Then when we, we now have when x is equal to negative 1, we find that 2 will be equal to a minus 2b minus 2c minus 2d. This implies that 27 plus b plus 27b plus 27c is equal to negative 8. We turn this equation to. We notice that 
this is equation one and this is equation two. We have these two equations in two unknowns. The two unknowns are B and C. So we have to solve them simultaneously to obtain the value of the two unknowns. This is how we go about it. We can add equation one plus equation two. When we do that, we're going to have negative 27B is equal to two. This implies that B is equal to negative two over 27. So we'll substitute B in either equation one or equation two. We're going to obtain the value of C. That is C will be equal to negative two over nine. So we have those values of A, B, C, D. We now come back to this partial fraction. We substitute those values. We'll now have it as two divided by X minus one times X plus two of that cube is equal to, we have to substitute those values of A, B, C, and D that we have. So we now have it as two over 27 times X minus one minus two over 27 times X plus two minus 2 divided by 9 times x plus 2 all that squared minus 2 divided by 3 times x plus 2 all that cubed. That is what we have there for that partial fraction. Our lesson proper for today is lesson 37, which is partial fractions in which the denominator contains irreducible quadratic factors. So this is the plan we have for a lesson. Objectives, prerequisites, real life situation, a learning activity, application, exercises of application, and uh, an assignment. So we have these general objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to express rational fractions in which the denominator contains irreducible quadratic factors with some of them repeated into partial fractions. As prerequisite, what you are required to know to better follow up this lesson, learners can, the first point there is determine the degree of a polynomial and also the next one is to find the LC and the least common multiple of algebraic expression we have to verify that prerequisite. State the degree of the following polynomials. A, x to the power four minus two x squared plus two over x raised to the power seven minus six. B, three x raised to the power negative seven minus two x plus two over x raised to the power nine minus one over x minus x squared. C, 3x raised to the power negative 5 minus 2x squared plus 2 divided by x raised to the power 5 minus 6x minus 1. That is what we have there for the first one. This is the second one. Find the LCM of the following rational functions. 1. 1 divided by x minus 2 plus x divided by 2x plus 1 plus 1. B. 1 divided by x squared minus 4 plus x divided by x plus 2. Number 3. Express x divided by 3x plus 5 raised to the power 3 into partial fractions. So this is what we have as prerequisites to verify. So for the first one, we are to state the degree of the following polynomials. The first one, this is it, x raised to the power 4 minus 2x squared plus 2 divided by x raised to the power 7 minus 6. From the knowledge of indices, realize here that this term is the same as 2 times x raised to the power negative 7. So looking at it, we have x raised to the power 4. This is the, the x raised, the highest power of x here is 4 which is the degree, the degree of this polynomial is 4. By the same method, we have this D. 3x raised to the power negative 7 minus 2x plus 2 divided by x raised to the power 9 minus 1 over x minus x squared. The highest power of x here is 2. The highest power, the degree, here is 2 because the highest power of x is 2. 
take note this one is negative seven which is less than two and we from knowledge of indices this one is negative nine which is still less than two and so the degree here in b is two the degree that is the highest power of x this c 3x raised to the power negative 5 minus 2x squared plus 2 over x raised to the power negative 5 minus 6x minus 1. Again, the degree here is 2. Here is x raised to the power negative 5, which is less than 2. Here is also x raised to the power negative 5, which is less than 2. So the degree is 2. The highest power of x in this polynomial is 2. So that is it for the first one. We have the second one. Find the LCM of the following rational functions. A, 1 over x minus 2 plus x divided by 2x plus 1 plus 1. We have to find the LCM. So, we realize that the LCM here is x minus 2 times 2x plus 1. Because this is the same as, we write this fraction, when we have, we have these three fractions. The first one is 1 over x minus 2 plus the next one is x divided by 2x plus 1 plus we can have 1 over 1. So we have these three fractions. So the LCM, the least common multiple of these three fractions to give us x minus 2 times 2x plus 1 so this is what we have as the LCM. So that is it there with that A part. So for the B part, we have these two fractions. So the LCM is x squared minus 4. Notice that x plus 2 is found inside x squared minus 4. So the LCM of these two fractions is x squared minus 4. So that is what we have there. We get to number three. Three, we are to decompose into partial fractions. That is what we have there. X divided by 3x plus 5. 3x plus 5. All this raised to the power. Three, so we have to decompose into partial fractions. So we can let y to be equal to three x plus five. We can let y to be equal to three x plus five. So from here we obtain the value of x. So this implies that x will be equal to this y. Take away five. All that divided by 3. So as we have it here, we make as the subject of this formula, x will give us y minus 5 divided by 3. So we come in this fraction wherever we see x will replace the values and wherever we see 3x plus 5 will replace it by y. So if we do that, we're going to have this here x divided by 3x plus 5, all this raised to the power 3 will be equal to, taking note of x here, x now becomes y minus 5 divided by 3, all that divided by y cubed. So, we simplify this, when we simplify, we're going to have y minus 5 divided by 3 times y cubed, which will further simplify to have 1 divided by 3y squared minus 5 divided by 3y cubed. At this uh, level, we come back to substitute the values of x and y that we had, the values of y that we had. So this means that x divided by 3x plus 5 cubed will be equal to, this is 1 divided by 3y squared, 1 divided by 3, but y was equal to 3x plus 5. So this is 1 divided by 3 times y squared minus 5 divided by 3 times y raised to the power 3. So these are the partial fractions. This fraction is decomposed into this partial fractions. So 
this real life situation. I will read, we think about it for a while. Towards the end of the lesson, we'll come back and solve this. The teacher asks the students to express g of x being equal to x raised to the power 4 minus x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 2, all that divided by x minus 1 times x squared plus 2, all that squared, as the sum of three rational functions. Yes, the teacher asks the students to divide, to express this g of x as a sum of three rational functions, that is expressing it into three partial fractions. So what happened? The first four had this, the first four students had this as their approach. They have it like this. G of x is equal to x divided by x minus one times x squared plus two, all that squared is equal to, we have a over x minus one plus bx over x squared plus two, this is what they have. And uh, discover that they cannot continue. So how can we help the students out? The first four have this, and they discover now that they cannot continue. How do we help them? As I said, towards the end of the lesson, we'll come back to solve this. We have this activity. Given the expression, this is the general form. Given the expression, 15x squared minus x plus 2, all that divided by x minus 5, 3x squared plus 4x minus 2, to express into partial fractions. Now, note that an irreducible quadratic factor in the denominator of the form, this is the general form, ax squared plus bx plus c, give rise to a partial fraction of the form. This is how we have it. AX plus B over AX squared plus BX plus C. So, what does this mean? It means that generally, if you have the general, this is the general case, which therefore means that if you have a specific case in this form that you can exp to, to express in partial fraction AX squared plus BX plus C, where A, B, and C are variables. So, this will be the same as ax plus b divided by ax squared plus bx plus c. So this is a general case. So if you find any specific case, that is how we have to express it. So given this 15x squared minus x plus 2, divided by x minus 5 times 3x squared plus 4x minus 2. Take note that 3x squared plus 4x minus 2 has no factors as it's of degree 2. It has no factor and it is of degree 2. The highest power of x here is 2. So from this, as we saw here, its numerator is, the, the numerator will be bx plus c, that is, we have 15x squared minus x plus 2 divided by x minus 5 times 3x squared plus 4x minus 2 is equal to a divided by x minus 5 plus bx over c divided by 3x squared plus 4x minus 2. So this is what we have here because... This is this a quadratic that is irreducible. So we now eliminate the denominator, eliminating the fractions by multiplying all through by the LC and the least common multiple. So when we multiply through by the LCM, we have 15x squared minus x plus 2 is equal to a times 3x squared plus 4x minus 2 plus b times, we have, this is plus bx plus c times x minus 5. So we rearrange it and we find the values of a, b, and c. So this will be equal to 3a squared plus, when we expand this, we expand this bracket, we have 3a squared plus 4a x 
This is 3ax squared plus 4ax minus 2a plus bx squared plus cx minus 5bx minus 5c. So this is what the this right hand side will, will expand. I expand that we're going to have this. So this means that 15x squared minus x plus 2 is equal to we bring like terms together, we group like terms together. This will be equal to 3a plus b times x squared plus 4a minus 5b plus c times x minus 2a minus 5c. So this means that from there 3a plus b is equal to 15. We term this equation 1. Also, this is done by equating coefficient. The x squared term on the left hand side is equal to the x squared term on the right hand side. The x term on the left hand side is equal to the x term on the right hand side. And of course, the constant term on the left hand side will also be the constant term on the right hand side. So that is equating coefficients. So when we do that, with the x term, we are going to have 2a plus 5c minus 2. 2a plus 5c is equal to negative 2. We term this equation 2. So this means that and 4a minus 5b plus c is equal to negative 1. We term this equation 3. So we have three equations to solve to have the unknowns, these variables a, b, and c, the constants a, b, and c. So how do we go about that? From equation 1, b will make b the subject of the formula. b gives us 15 minus 3a. Now, from 2, what do we have? We have 2 is equal to negative 2a minus 5c. So it means that 5c is equal to negative 2a minus 2. Therefore, c is equal to negative times 2a plus 2 divided by 5. So, when we continue with sub substituting for b and c in 3, we have negative 1 is equal to 4a minus 5 times 15, take away 3a, minus, we have this, 2a plus 2 divided by 5. This implies that a is equal to 4. From here, a is equal to 4. So we substitute in 1, and b will give us 3. So we substitute again in 3, c will give us negative 2. Therefore, this fraction, 15x squared minus x plus 2, divided by x minus 5 times 3x squared plus 4x minus 2, is equal to 4 divided by x minus 5, plus 3x minus 2 divided by 3x squared plus 4x minus 2. So that is what we have there. Recall, if an irreducible quadratic factor in this form, AX, uh, in this form x squared plus bx plus c is repeated m times, we allow a sum of m times, namely that's the sum from k squared to 1 to m of a k x plus b k, all this all over x squared plus b x plus c raised to the power k. Each new each new numerator is linear. So that is what we have to recall there. We have these application exercises. Express the following into partial fractions: one, x divided by x minus three times x squared plus x plus one. Two. 2x squared minus x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 times x squared plus 2. We have to express into partial fractions. From what we had in the activity there, this x divided by x minus 3 times x squared plus x plus 1 will be equal to a divided by x minus 3 plus bx plus c divided by x squared plus x plus 1. When x is equal to 3, what happens? a will be equal to x divided by x squared plus x plus 1, which is equal to 3 divided by 9 plus 3 plus 1, which is equal to 
3 divided by 13. So we have bx plus c divided by x squared plus x plus 1 to be equal to, we have x divided by x minus 3 times x squared plus x plus 1 minus 3 divided by 13 times x minus 3. So this is what we have here, this fraction. 13x minus 3x squared minus 3x minus 3 divided by 13 into x minus 3 times x squared plus x plus 1. We equal to, we have, we have this negative times 3x minus 1 times x minus 3 divided by 13 times x minus 3 times x squared plus x plus 1. So this is equal to, we're going to simplify that, we'll have negative times 3x minus 1 divided by 13 times x squared plus x plus 1. As this x minus 3, we cancel out with this other x minus 3. Therefore, this fraction x divided by x minus 3 times x squared plus x plus 1 will be equal to 3 divided by 13 times x minus 3 minus 3x minus 1 divided by 13 times x squared plus x plus 1. So that is that partial fraction there. We have this second one. Express 2x squared minus x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 times x squared plus 2 into partial fractions. So we'll start by eliminating the fractions. We have this as we had in the other one. To eliminate those, we have this. We first of all introduce this constant 2x squared minus x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 times x squared plus 2 is equal to a divided by x minus 1 plus bx plus c divided by x squared plus 2. So from here we eliminate the fractions by multiplying all through this equation by the LCM. So when we multiply that, this is what we have. We have 2x squared minus x plus 2 will be equal to a times x squared plus 2 plus bx plus bx plus c times x minus 1. So when we further simplify, we have when x is equal to 1, this implies that 3 is equal to 3a, this implies that a will give us 1. When x is equal to 0, this implies that 2 will be equal to 2a minus c, this implies that c is equal to 0. And when x is equal to negative 1, implies that 5 is equal to 3a plus 2b minus 2c. This implies that b is equal to 1. And we have this, part, this fraction, 2x squared minus x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 times x squared plus 2 is equal to 1 over x minus 1 plus x over x squared plus 2. So that is that fraction into partial fractions. We come back to this real life situation. The teacher asks the students to express g of x being equal to x to the power 4 minus x squared plus 2 x squared minus x plus 2. All that divided by x minus 1 times x squared plus 2, all that squared, as the sum of three rational functions. The first four had this as their approach. G of x is equal to x divided by x minus 1 times x squared plus 2. All this squared is equal to a divided by x minus 1 plus bx divided by x squared plus 2. And uh, discover that they cannot continue. At, from this, at this level, they cannot continue. How can we help these students out? So we have to continue from here, help them out from here. So from the knowledge that we have in partial fraction, this fraction will be equal to a divided by x minus 1 plus bx plus c divided by x squared plus 2 plus dx plus e divided by x squared plus 2, all the square. So we eliminate the fraction by multiplying all through by the LCM. This is what we we'll obtain x raised to the power 4 minus x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 2 is equal to a times x squared plus 2, all the square plus bx plus c times x minus 1 times x squared plus 2 plus dx plus e times x minus 1. So we solve simultaneously to obtain the values of the constant a, b, c, d, e. 
So we'll solve simultaneously we'll have A will be equal to one third, B will be equal to two over three, C will be equal to negative one third, D will give us negative one and E will give us two. So we substitute the values of these constants A, B, C, D, E here. We will now have this fraction will be equal to 1 divided by 3 times x minus 1 plus 2x minus 1 divided by 3 times x squared plus 2 plus we have negative x plus 2 divided by x squared plus 1 all that squared. So that is what we have there. As an assignment, we have this. Express the following into partial fractions. 1. We have x divided by x minus 3 times x squared plus x plus 5, 2, 2x two squared plus 13x minus 17, divided by x plus 3 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. As references, we have advanced level mathematics by Howard Clark and also advanced level mathematics by Ewan Erola Alunge. Our next lesson is on partial fractions with the degree of the numerator greater than that of the denominator. Unna tege si ma tege yob Unna tege minga ma tege nyum Unna tege ma jang ma tege ndom Ma ne tambia ninya ne njubya yen Ngani bana ma tege mot Ngani la kiri wa tege ndom Esa tina bia dinki do Ma ne tambia ninya ne njubya yen Tam tam amote tam zabike Tam tam atonge tam zabike Tam 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 amote tam zabike Mane tam bia ninyane injo bia yen 